There's a new twist in the case of two Kentucky moms who say they were drugged and raped while on vacation in the Bahamas by two resort staffers. The two friends covered in cuts and bruises say it happened on their last day of a four-day carnival cruise while they were docked in the Bahamas. But now officials from that resort claim the women's account of what happened does not match their security footage. It all comes from officials from the Bahamas and Jamaica, and right now they're pushing back against U.S. travel warnings. Correspondent Laura Engel joins us live. Laura, you have some new reaction, and this reaction is from local police. Right. Well, we are now getting dueling stories about this alleged incident, which is not to take away from the very serious allegations from these two mothers from Kentucky. But now there are reports that the excursion company that was involved in the women's offshore visit in the Bahamas is disputing their claims, saying they have video that doesn't match up. Now, Amber Shear and Dongela Dobson said they were assaulted in broad daylight by staffers after they were given drugged cocktails, allegedly, during a beach excursion by resort staffers when they made a stop off their Carnival cruise line last weekend. The two say they were ushered to a beach to look for seashells by these staffers when they lost consciousness and woke up to their assaults in progress by two resort employees, they say. A spokesperson for that resort now telling news agencies that the women's account of what happened does not match their security footage. This, as the Royal Bahamian Police Force did issue a statement yesterday saying their investigation and them looking at videos led to the immediate arrest of two adult males connected to this case. So there's two people in custody right now. Sharon Dobson, along with their attorney, telling Chris Cuomo earlier this week about the details of their assault, their anger over not being warned. There was a travel advisory for the Bahamas from the U.S. State Department by Carnival Cruise due to increased violence and assault in the Bahamas, in addition to sharing the aftermath of how the authorities in the Bahamas handled them after their alleged rapes occurred. Listen. They had us change out of the one-piece swimsuits that we were wearing into our swimsuit covers. Threw them in Walmart bags. They told us if, if we wanted any justice, any rape kits or anything, we would have to go to the Bohemian Hospital. However, the U.S. Embassy had already refused to help us. We would be stuck there and we would be on our own. All right, so Carnival Cruise Lines released the following statement to News Nation saying in part, quote, our onboard care team provided support for the two guests as they sailed back to Jacksonville. Bahamian police are investigating the matter and Carnival is providing our full cooperation. As Sharon Dobson have shared photos of cuts and bruises all over their legs and said when they took toxicology tests on the ship, the results showed they had a wide range of drugs in their system and nearly zero alcohol in their systems as well. So there is a lot more going on with the story. We continue to follow it and we'll bring you more as we get it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.